Well, welcome to Ham Smarter with Vince uh, VE6LK, and I've got a special guest here, Andy Perryman, November Zero Alpha Papa X-ray. Hey, Andy. Hey, Vince. Great to see you. Great to see you too, man. So Andy uh, licensed a couple of years ago. He's a very enthusiastic ham. I love that about Andy. Uh, Andy uh, runs, no, I'm going to get this wrong. Andy is the lead guy at World Radio League. Tell us about that for a minute. Yeah, I'm the product manager. Um, our, our, our CEO is uh, James N0WRL. Uh, brought me on the team about a about a year ago now, uh, almost a year ago, not quite. And um, yeah, we've got we've got uh, about I think over twenty thousand uh, subscribers to World Radio League or or active users awesome. in World Radio League. Yeah, and um, yeah, we're we're a modern logging platform, so we're a cloud logging platform, and you can you know you can use it on a mobile device through a web browser, and soon we'll be releasing our uh, offline-capable desktop app, cross-platform desktop app as well. Um, so we do basic logging. You know, you can get all your confirmations. We, we're adding awards and analytics. We also just recently released Cat Control, um, the, the cool. desktop Cat Control app, so you can connect it to your radio. Very cool. And you're, you're uh, pretty active in the POTA scene, I see, as well, hey? Absolutely, yes. I actually recently uh, got signed up with Long Island CW Club. I thought I knew pretty much nothing in CW, and it took me about two or three weeks, and I did my first CW activation, so I realized I knew a little bit more than I thought I did. <laughs> right. so. hey, that's great. That is great. Well, perfect. So today, uh, to go with your love of POTA and your love of ham radio, we're here to talk about your newest antenna called the End Fed Biscuit. So, such an unusual name. What's the End Fed Biscuit, man? <laughs> yeah, so the End Fed Biscuit is an idea I had a few weeks ago. It's actually my first product, you know, I've ever really brought to market. But uh, it's an idea I had a few weeks ago. I thought, you know, there's all these different types of antennas. You can wind them up on, like, just a little hand winder. But you can't. they're, they're kind of a little bit slow to deploy when you get out in the field. I do a lot of several of my activations I've done on like a work lunch break. So I've only got a very limited amount of time. And so I like to make things as fast as possible. I thought, you know what, we, I, there ought to be a way to make an antenna that you can just, you know, wind up and spool out really easily um, all in one unit. So I came up with uh, this design and we can, we can kind of go into it here in a minute, but it's a, it's just a, the design was just circular and just the right size that uh, the infed biscuit kind of just popped into my mind, and I thought, well, why call it anything else? Yeah, right on. It's a it's a very unique and catchy name, and and I, <laughs> as it caught my attention, I'm sure it will catch the attention of others. So, um, what what kind of steps did you go through to design this? So yeah, so first of all, you know, I kind of had the idea, and then I started. I'm very bad at CAD design, but I'm slowly but surely um, working on my skills there. So um, I brought up On Shape, which is my favorite CAD tool, and uh, I started, you know, I started working and designing and and uh, printing iterations. And I lost track a long time ago how many iterations of this thing I've 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 gone through. But um, I have I have uh, I you know I kept designing printing finding the issues with the design and and printing a new version and so on and so forth until uh until we finally have the the product i've got here right on well show us product man show us how to yeah, tell absolutely. us about it how does it work what does it do does it yeah, does it so, slice your bread and make your coffee <laughs> it's not quite that good yet maybe a All future right. maybe a future iteration will future iteration. do that for you but um <laughs> absolutely so it's a 20 meter and fed half wave um, it's got this. Uh, it's it's got this BNC mount right here, just a right angle BNC mount. You can see there, and that goes uh, down inside. I'll show you one that has not been uh, fully assembled here in just a minute. I'll show you some parts so you can see kind of cool. how it works. But this this magnet wire comes off the BNC connector, goes down inside the unit to the uh, to the to the toroid, the wound toroid inside, and um, and yeah. So whenever you're ready to deploy this antenna, uh, you just pull this uh, wire out of the little keeper hole here 
Oh, nice. And grab, grab it, grab the disc uh, opposite the BNC connector. You don't want to grab the one that has the BNC connector. You grab the disc opposite oh, yeah. and grab the end of the wire and just spill it out. Oh, and it, it just out. spins out. It just spools out. Absolutely. So that, that's like a winder and an antenna all in one. Absolutely. When you're done, you just take it and just wind it back up again, and you're good to go. That is so very cool. Right yeah, on. Yeah, so whenever you, whenever you do spill it all the way out, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll show you uh, one of the... Uh, one of the uh, things that I've done here that may be a little bit different than um, than some people have designed before, but that was the way that worked best for this antenna. So, so, ha so it's a right. halfway it's hard, to, it's hard to spool it with with my uh, with your my microphone in the way. Foot, yeah, with my yeah, yeah. my microphone in the way and my minimal square feet of, of space to move but around that's, here. That's thirty three feet of yeah. wire there, right? You know. Oh yeah, yeah, thirty five. Yeah, yeah they're 35. about thirty five. Yeah. So I um I actually solder the magnet wire right onto the right onto the uh, to the to the element here. Nice. And um, I, but I use you know I use enough solder to where it's gonna you know it's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Right on. Uh, well, hey, uh, uh, while you're winding that up, um, you know you you've got these up for sale on a yeah. website somewhere. Which what uh, yeah. what's the website? The website is n0apx.com. Okay. So, yep, and the uh, the you can buy it as an assembled unit or a kit. The kit is um, about fifty, uh, roughly fifty four dollars yeah. U.S. And the uh, the assembled unit is about seventy four U.S. Yeah, uh, and that's pretty fair. Twenty bucks for assembly time. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. Cool. Do you, do you have that other one there, uh, you yes, know, to absolutely. show us the inside? Because so, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is just the printed parts here, the 3D printed parts I'll show you here, or a couple of them. So um, as you, when you look in here, that's oh, where the toroid goes. You wind the yeah. toroid, slide it down in there. Oh, there's this, a toroid. Uh, yeah, you oh. grab. Yeah, you take it. Yeah, you take it. Uh, an FT it has to be an FT eighty two forty three toroid. Yeah, and I wind it. You know, with a typical two to fourteen, uh, forty nine to one configuration. Um, so you know, two primary, uh, two. I think it's two yep. primary turns and 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 twelve secondary, something like that. Yeah. And um and yeah, you just once it's done, you slide it down into that slot. And uh, there's a there's a little slot on this side of right. the uh, of the circle there where the where the uh, el the radiating element comes out, and then there's two little holes. You can just barely see them yep. in there. You can maybe where see the magnet wire the drops side. in. That's where it comes out to the BNC connector. Oh, so I saw that a minute ago, and I wondered why there were two wires coming out. I did not yep. realize mm -hmm. this antenna had a built-in nine to one. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. A forty-nine uh, to one. It's a forty-nine or, or, to one. Forty-nine to one. Yep. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yep. Uh -huh. That's tremendous value. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> well, cool. And so you, you could probably set this up flat topped or as a sloper or oh, yeah. oh, an yeah. inverted I, L or I whatever. I typically do a sloper configuration. And I mean, you know, I've got the, 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 uh, I've, you know, I checked the SWR. Um, I did a video where I kind of did an SWR sweep with it and it did pretty good on, it did really good on 20 and pretty good on 15 to 10. And then, um, and then I, of course, use my my mountain topper, you know, and check the SWR about every time I use it. And, you know, it's just, it's it's really good SWR, you know, 1 or 1 1.1 to 1 SWR. And, and um, yeah, I've, I've logged several contacts through it now. Yeah, right on. That's exciting. <laughs> Andy, anything else we need to know about it before we wrap up? Um, I don't believe so. I'll, um, I'm, I'm going to be probably in the next day or two, I'm going to be editing up the instructional video so that if you have ordered a kit from me or if you're going to order a kit from me, I'll have a video for you. Um, yeah, this is brand new, so I'm just getting, you know, getting the instructional put together and everything. But, uh, but yeah, I would love it if, uh, if you want to give it a try, just reach out to me. Go to n0apx.com and, and, and it'll get you on order. Right on. And uh, so you've got a YouTube channel then too that... Mm -hmm. uh, where this video will be so i'll provide a link to that uh, down in the description along with a link to many other okay, things down in the description below so uh andy hey thanks for uh, coming and uh, talking with me this evening and uh for now 73 i appreciate it vince 73